What's up YouTube and welcome into another quick video showing you some simple guides for HitFilm Express editing software. These methods can also be used on other editing software guides, so hopefully this one does help you out today. Now I'm going to be showing you how to export and render your projects as well as how to set up a folder for the finished videos to go into. It's really important that you have a location with plenty of hard drive space to accommodate your finished projects because if you're like me and you don't keep on top of space management then you could quickly find yourself dealing with minimal hard drive space and that is never good for anyone. So once you have a project ready to go, just click the export button located here. Go down to export now, then in a drop down, hit the contents button. This will automatically start rendering the video for you. Now, like I said before, if you don't sort a file for the videos to go into yourself, it will almost certainly be put onto your C drive and that will soon clog up your operating system drive. If you don't have any other drive than your C drive, then this is kind of where your tutorial stops for the exporting. But if you do have a D drive with the extra space, then let's use that. First of all, locate and get to your D drive by clicking this folder button here in your toolbar. So I'm using Windows 10 and it may vary with other windows, but we're heading for the This PC section. Once located, click on your D drive. Mine's been renamed as Game Drive, but as you can see, it's still my D drive. In here, we want to right click, create a folder and name it something like finished hip film videos or rendered hip film videos or something similar. The choice is yours. Then come back to your hip film express editing software. From here, come up to file, then click options. Go to export near the bottom of the list and click that here. We can set our default export directory and also the snapshot one too, which we'll be doing afterwards but with the same method applied. Um, so next we want to click select folder and once again head towards your D drive and find the folder you just created. Select that folder and voila, you have a great location to keep all your hard work. Remember to repeat the same process for the snapshots too. Well that's it guys, I hope that it helps you out and if it does then don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more quick guides with me Cornish Ratbeard. Take care and bye bye for now.